hey guys welcome back to my channel everything that you see in this in this video will be linked down below i will make sure i put every link in the description down below and guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell just so you guys can know when i upload another nail video and you guys we today we're just going to do a simple nail look i'm just kind of going off the dome but this is what i'm just gonna do today so stay tuned okay you guys so let's get started the first thing i'm gonna do is start i already prepped my nails off camera but if you guys want to check how i prep my nails just check um my previous video which i will leave an attachment so you guys can check that out but i'm gonna go ahead and prep my nails here and everything and I just wanted to comment because I have got it, gotten some criticism on my constructive criticism. Let me say that on my last video about my breathing, as people may have known, I had a bad effect from COVID. Um, I had an upper respiratory infection, COVID and strep throat. So my lungs pretty much took a big hit. Um, so just bear with me guys. If you hear me guys taking like deep breath, it's because my lung capacity is just really not good. Um, but I'm fine. You know, I'm getting testing done and everything like that. But just want to give you guys a pre warning if you hear me like kind of grasping for air, um, because it's, it's pretty tricky for me. So I'm just going to prep these pre-shaped coffin nails on and I will attach a link on where I got my nail tips on, where my nail tips from. But of course, everything I get, look at this, y'all. Oh, no, I've already. Um, everything that I get, I get from pretty much Amazon, Shein, McCart, <laughs> pretty much it. Okay, guys, I have put all my nail tips on. Let me get you guys closer up just in case you can't see. Um, all my nail tips are on, so I'm just going to clip these down. I'm going to use this nail clipper that I got from, um, I think I got this from Amazon or Shein. Not really for sure where I got it from, so I'm just going to clip these a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to shape these a little bit here. So I'm just using my nail file. It's an 80 by 80 nail file. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit so you guys can really get a feel on how I found my nails. So I just do that pretty much. I don't really have to do that much and just bring back the coffin shape just a little bit. But sometimes when I clip these, I clip them kind of like square like. So all right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Melody Susie nail file that I got from Amazon. And again, everything will be linked down in the description below. Okay, I actually need to charge her. <laughs> but what I'll do on my end is I'm going to thin out the hard part right here just to make it more smoother. So I have mine going right right now because I'm in my right. I got this in my right hand. So I got it going. Was it reverse? Is the four reverse? Look, y'all, I'm new to this, so don't judge me. I don't know what the R stands for. I know the L stands for forward. So I just make sure. I just take the shiny coat off. And whatever imperfections I see that I don't pretty much like, I correct. guys so i am back from filing the rest of my nails i'm just going to dust everything off and what i'm going to do is take me a little swipe a nine length swipe 
is it what's it called? Nonlit lint cotton thing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna take my um young nail swipe solution, which I know I need to get. And then what I'm gonna do is take my young nail um protein bond. I'm just gonna take some of that. I like to put that by the cuticle. Period. Okay, you guys. So I have to get another base coat. So, I'm going to use the one from Melanonis. <laughs> yeah, don't quote me on this cuz I don't I don't I don't know. See, this is better. I don't know, maybe cuz it's old probably. That's probably why I feel like that. Throw that one out. So I'm going to use my McCart um, UV light. So I'm just going to start by 60 seconds. So once my nails cure, I will be coming right back and start the process of putting on the poly gel. So don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. Now that my nails are cured, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my McCart Nail Surface Cleanser. 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 Just gonna put some a little bit in this lemon dish. Now, again, what I tell you guys, you don't have to use this. You can use alcohol, but again, this is just a little bottle, so I'm just trying to get rid of it. And then I'm just going to take um, one of these type of brushes. You can get them off of from a cart. You can get them from Amazon. You can get them from Shein. Probably AliExpress. <laughs> most likely. So I'm just going to dip a little bit in there. So I'm going to use the nail extension by McCart um, in the color of light pink in 015. I have not used this color at all. And I was like, I want something simple, you know, something more classy, something more like, you know, just basic, basically. So I'm just going to start with a little bit here. I'm just going to squeeze some out. And I'm bringing it down a little bit. There we go. See, I just like the simple, you know, colors. So I'm just going to start bringing it down. I'm just going to start folding it out. And yes, you guys, I do press down. So some people, some people start from the bottom. I don't. I start in the middle. It's just, I don't know, my technique. Because I just really don't want to flood the cuticle. It's just something that works for me. And it may not work for everybody, you know. Which is fine. You just got to do it in a way that it works for you. I'm going to take some, dip this in the dish, and then I'm going to take that and spoon some of it off, wipe that on the towel. guys so now that that is fully cured i am still going to go back in with a little bit more because i want it a little bit thicker by the cuticle so i'm just going to take a little bit put some right there because i kind of want like an a pack a high a pack a little bit i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about <laughs> Okay, since that one is cured, now I'm going to go ahead and do my index finger. I'm going to do one more and then the rest I'm going to do off camera. Now I'm going to start at this end and then work my way up like that. And just remember guys, this stuff slides. So I'm just going to push that down by the cuticle. So I'm going to take some of this in a dampening dish and then go to the nail and swipe most of it off. Come back in. 
just so I can fix the shape a little bit. guys so now that that is cured i want to keep hitting myself sorry y'all keep bumping y'all so now that is cured i'm going to go ahead and do these three off camera and then i'm gonna come back and start doing the hand fouling first and then the nail drill and i'm gonna keep you guys tuned on how i do all of that let me just zoom you guys out a little bit so this is how it is before fouling and then we're gonna start fouling and then we're gonna be right back did you guys subscribe yet? Hmm? Hmm? Make sure you guys subscribe. Okay, you guys. So, I am back. So, now what I'm going to do is start hand fouling my nails. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Um, I just got done eating some stuff. I had to snack on something. I was, like, really hungry. Um, So, what I do with my nails is I start at the corner for And this is the 80 by 80. Um, nail file. I start at the corner. Bring my nail file. And I'll just start fouling each side until I get it to my liking. So again, with these coffin nails, they kind of already pre-coffin, so there's really not much you you can do or you have to do i always say make your life easier not harder Shoo. so then i take my little file and i just kind of go over my nail like this and now i'm just going to do the other nail make sure i get as much as that extra residue off as I can. Make sure I just go to the side first. So just go back and forth on both sides. Have the nail facing me. Make sure I get underneath her. Just to shape that a little bit. So I see it's a little crooked right here. So I'm going to take my nail file, turn my hand just so I can have a little bit more control. And it's kind of like over a little bit. Do you guys need to see a little closer? Period. So, like, I'll make sure this line is straight enough where, again, where it meets my expectation. okay guys so i am back so this is pretty much what i got so far with the hand file so now i'm just going to take a 80 by 80 grid um sanding bit and i'm just going to put that on number six and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold this so right now i need this going forward and then i'm just going to Go around the cuticles, very light strokes. You don't have to be heavy handed just to clean it up a little bit. Because again, guys, I like a high apex a little bit. Just a preference. Some people don't, but I do. So 
So that's how I pretty much look. All right, guys. So I finished doing the fouling. So I'm going to just double check um, my nail. Make sure it comes out the way I want it to be. So this one, I'll kind of bring that in a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, guys. So like y'all, y'all keep y'all nails this plain, simple thing. You know, it's a pretty color. You can do it matte. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another lint-free wipe. And again, you don't have to use the young nail swipe. You can use alcohol. Alcohol just as effective. But I like the young nail. Just my preference. Make sure I clean up all the dust off my nails. Make sure you guys clean this really well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my buffer. I got this buffer off Amazon. I'm just going to buff my nails. Buff on me. Just to smooth this out. Okay, now there's buff. I'm just going to go in with the, with the swipe again just to get all the dust off. Make sure you guys get there really well. Clean off the nails really well. I'll make sure I get underneath there. Okay, you guys. So, I have an idea. I want to try using the Bloomin' Gel. I got this from McCart. Yeah, so I don't want this to focus. I got it from a cart, so I want to try using the blooming gel um to do the rose. I'm gonna see if I can do it, y'all. So I'm gonna use my little butterfly, and I'm gonna use the white polish by Madeline Melanie's. I think that's her name. So I'm put a little bit there. Let's see if I can do it, y'all. I hope I can. <laughs> okay, so I'm just take a little bit of this blooming gel. I'm going to do it on this finger. I'm going to take just a simple little brush like this that I got from Shein. Let me see. I think when they did it, I think they did kind of like squeak. And then they did a little squeak. They kind of kept going around. Y'all can't see. Am I doing it? <gasps> Y'all. <gasps> Let me curry. Let me curry, y'all. Did I just do... Did I just freaking do it? On my first try? I'm about to cry. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'm, your girl done did it. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Should I do another nail or should I just leave it like this? Oh, I think I'm going to just leave it because I'm scared I'll mess up the other nails. Oh. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to do some rhinestones and everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I just used my top coat by McCart and just cured that for 60 seconds. So now we're going to go in with some rhinestones. So I'm really trying to figure out, should I use these? Just keep it like little pink, you know, or just like these. I really don't know what I want to do. So I got this um, little rhinestone picker from Amazon. And of course, the McCart rhinestone glue. So let's see here. I think I'm just keep this very, very basic. Let me just pull a little bit in here. So I don't. I'm not really good at like decorating nails. <laughs> so I think I'm a. Put like a diamond in the in a corner or something. Let's see eh, if I can get some of this out. So I'm just poke this a little bit in her, just dab it on her, swirl it just a little bit until it re release. 
I'm gonna take one of these diamonds. Just simple. I'm a simple person, y'all. All right, y'all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Soul Cuticle Oil by McCart. And I'm just going to put that all around my cuticle. Make sure I just rub it all in. Hands look a little ashy and crusty right now. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look. Tell me what you guys think. I did that on that rose. I'm a little proud of myself. I feel like I did a pretty good job on this. Make sure you guys get the full effect. And just remember, guys, stay tuned for the next video as I just do whatever I want with the nails on this little nail journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can know whenever I post a video. See you guys later. Bye.